This is Pat McPherson from ITS Partners, and today's demo is going to be around Data Loss Prevention 14.5 and the new feature available around form recognition. So again, this is a new feature in 14.5, and with this new feature, we can detect forms with sensitive data. So think about all of your medical forms, tax form, insurance, and so forth. Those can now be uploaded and we can look for those forms if they ever get data populated on them. And the way that we're able to detect those forms are in PDF format or a number of picture formats such as JPEG, bitmap, and PNG. So how does this work here? How are the forms actually recognized? Well first off, we need to get the blank form. So that's what we upload into DLP and when we do that it identifies them as what's called key points. Now once the profiles are created we then make a policy to look for those forms and DLP will then draw a comparison between the blank forms I've identified and the detected forms. The, you know my data in motion or my data at rest. So DLP is inspecting again these different formats. We can then define how much of the form needs to be filled in in, in order for me to, to uh, you know, want to be aware of it, to make an incident created. And we as the admins can specify what's called the fill threshold. So I can specify a setting between 1 and 10, 1 being, hey, there's not a lot on this form filled out, 10 being the form's like completely filled out. So where can I use this new feature inside of my DLP infrastructure? So we can do it for data in motion. So my network monitor ser detection servers, network prevent for email and web, and then also on my network discover for my data at rest. So the rest of this video is going to be focused around doing a demo of this new feature. And we'll walk through. I'm going to create a new form profile upload some sample data that I have. We're going to make a new policy from that. And then I'm going to show you the, the tool in action. And I've got uh, an FTP server. I'm going to upload some, uh, some demo data that, I, that I've had uh, a couple colleagues populate for me. And then we'll review the incidents that get created from this and inside of DLP as well. So sit tight. We'll go ahead and get into the demo next. All right, to get started here, first step is we need to get some blank forms. So on my system here I've got this ITS forms and here I've got MetLife and Always Care. Well, let's look at MetLife here and you'll see an enrollment form um, that I got from my HR personnel. And here you'll see the form is blank. But you're also going to see there are multiple pages here. There's four pages. What we need to do is separate each page into its own PDF. So you can use your favorite um, PDF editing tool. You, you can easily come in here and do a print to PDF and only choose to print pages one, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so now we went ahead and made four different PDF files, each one for the different page of this particular form. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and zip this file up. So we're going to compress it, send it to a zip. And I'll do the same thing with this always care form as well. All right, now we're cooking. Let's pop open our data loss prevent enforce server. And to do this, we're going to go into manage, data profiles, and form recognition. And I'm going to go ahead and add a profile. call this MetLife Farms. I'm going to browse. There we go. MetLife. Open. And we're going to give this a save. I'm going to add one more profile. Always care. And give this a save as well. We'll give this page a refresh here. Click on the little top right there, not inside your browser. 
there we go. So here we see, you know, as we slice down those multiple page to PDFs, you'll see there's the count there, which is appropriate. Four for my met life and three for the always care forms. So that's step one here when we were looking at that PowerPoint of creating the form profile. So that one's done. If I can type. Next, we're going to make the DLP policy. Let's do it. To do so, we're going to go to Manage, Policy, and Policy List. Going to add a policy, and this one is going to be blank. We're going to start from scratch. Select Next. And I'll call this the MetLife Form. And I'm going to add a rule. And you're going to see, we're going to scroll all the way to the very bottom. And that's where we have now the form recognition. And, oh boy, I don't have any memory. I think I did MetLife first. MetLife form. Okay. And we're going to save this. One more to do. Blank policy. Always care forms. Add a rule. Same one. You just made it. Next. Oh, help. If I, yes, always remember to actually select it. It cannot read your mind. You must tell it to do it. <laughs> Always care forms. Good. And we can go inside of here and you can um, specify the severity, right? Um, so just know that, that you can still continue to do that. All right, so our forms are created. And now, so are our policies. So let's go back to our PDF here. Done. Now earlier, I was talking about the fill threshold, right? And I kind of skipped over that, so let me go back in to show you that. Again, data profile and the form recognition. And we can edit these, the two that we had created earlier. And that's where you'll see here is the fill threshold. So I'm using the value of one. Remember, one's like, hey, it doesn't need a lot populated in the form, but ten's like, you, this is going to take the most. You know, I want this form pretty much completely filled out. For the next part of the demo, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you uploading a bunch of pictures or JPEG photos to an FTP server, and Network Monitor is going to go ahead and inspect that traffic. So let's go ahead and do it. So, first off, here, I've got a bunch of pictures I've made available here. I've called fun pictures. There's a picture of my bulldog. The cute, and but here we go. So in the fun pictures here, it's accidentally some forms that were populated with data got put in. Now these are pictures here. Now another one here, just to kind of show you, I've taken a picture here from my cell phone even, um, so you can kind of see the outlining of a, a desk here. But but this is taken here from a camera as well. So let's go ahead and let's 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 do this. Let's go ahead and upload all of my fun pictures to an FTP server. So from here, fun pictures. Yeah, let's get them all. Drag and drop it. And just a moment, we're going to see all of my pictures are going to get uploaded to the FTP server. There we go, all the files got populated. There we go, here's all the pictures that have been uploaded to my FTP server. So now, we're gonna go ahead and switch gears and look at my DLP server and take a peek at what it detected. All right, so we're in the home stretch here. So, we simulated some FTP traffic. Next up here, let's go ahead and take a peek at the incidents that would have been created here. So on my DLP server, I'm going to go into incidents, 
and this was data in motion, right? So that's going to be under the network section. Select network. All right, I'm already seeing some stuff here. So here, I always like doing this, advanced filters and summary. So here, let me go ahead and take a peek at policy. So remember, way back when we started, there were two different ones that we made, the Always Care and the MetLife Farm. So here we go, we, we see a number of them had been violated. So let's go look at the Always Care. Drill into it here, and it's going to tell me, drill in, we see this was uh, FTP data. Um, you can see who the recipient was, the source, and the attachment here. Um, look at here though, for the always care form, you, you can see all the data here that DLP recognize as being filled in, right? So this goes back to when we were first talking here about it did the comparison and inspected those pictures and it realized, hey, from the blank form to now a form that I now see detected, yeah, this, this actually looks like it's, uh, you know, has, has some writing in it. And that's what it went ahead and created an incident for us. Now, I also wanted to show, remember, I, I took a picture of a form with my camera, right? Remember this one here, the MetLife form? I'm sorry, that's not what it was. It was this one, picture from the camera. It was a MetLife form. Um, so now, let, let me show you how it picked that up. So we're going to go into my MetLife form. And here I see it. FTP picture of form from camera. So even though this came from a cell phone, I took a picture of it, it still knew enough about it to realize, yeah, I'm, I'm identifying here. This is some data that I, I um, think someone wrote in. So to recap here, that was the last part we wanted to show you. Again, DLP 14.5 form recognition, network monitor, right? We just showed you that with the FTP. But for those of you watching this, right, think about your email. Um, is, is DLP in line with your email? We can inspect that. You know, someone took a picture of, of a form from their phone and tried to email it. Or maybe you use um, scanners in the office and you scan a form with your printer and it gets sent to an email, right? And if that's not a trusted domain, maybe we, we uh, prevent that. Um, network prevent for web. And last year, your network discover, right? Um, may, maybe there is an open repository of data um, at rest and now we can scan for forms. So things that are, you know, just my silly example of fun pictures, you know, may, maybe there are open shares that we can go ahead now and scan for your form type data to make sure that those get placed into the right um, containers. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, more than happy to uh, jump on a call with you guys and, and talk about DLP and, you know, making the system work the way that you guys need. Thank you. Bye.